Hey everybody, it's another episode of AJ Opens Boxes, a show where AJ, that's me, opens up boxes. Or sort of opens up boxes. Uh, won't be a lot of opening today, but that's okay. One of the things I, I collect beyond uh, Funko and a few other things is Transformers. And uh, a few years ago, and that's part of the reason I started this channel, was uh, so I opened up boxes of Transformers I bought, because I, I don't keep the boxes. <gasps> At least when it comes to Transformers, in part just because it's a space thing. But uh, as I started trying to do some videos, um, gonna be honest with you, those uh, Transformers are kind of complicated. I get some, I got some of the big ones, and like <laughs> my phone ran out of storage before I got done halfway transforming uh, one of them. So uh, this episode, I'm going to be um, focusing on just a few different versions of uh, either no transformation or very little transformation uh, Transformers. I know that's kind of weird, but uh, they're also all relatively cheaply priced. Um, as much as those big, huge, cool ones that are like 50 bucks are cool, not everybody can afford that, and that's uh, that's not cool. Uh, so these are ones that are that are or were cheap. I'm not even sure if we can get some of them anymore, but um, let's get to it. Okay, the first two, and uh, uh, people that know me, or if you know my collecting habits, I generally collect uh, the, the four liters, as I call them. Optimus Prime, Megatron, Hot Rod, and I know, I know Hot Rod, and Ultra Magnus, but so the two big guys, Optimus Prime and Megatron. Now these are about five bucks each, and I've seen them available at Walmart. Uh, they're completely non-transforming, which I know seems kind of lame, but uh, they do have a little bit of a little bit of movement. They get the the waist movement and arm movement and head movement and all of them. So you can put them in a couple different forms, but. Uh, See, they're actually exclusive at Walmart. Um, but, um, I don't know. I mean, that, that's you still get a solid G1 figure because they're so, uh, and they're like, they're like, a, like almost like a rubbery plastic, so they kind of have a little bend to them. Um, they're not going to break. So I think these would be great for, like, uh, smaller kids. Um, mind you, over the age of three. Uh, not that there's any small parts in them, but, you know, I don't know. Kids find a way. I guess you pop the head off. That would be bad to eat. But, you know, I mean, five-year-olds or something, they like to bang them around and stuff. These are great. Hey, look, I've already halfway un unboxed them. I am going to unbox them so you can show that I actually do keep stuff and don't like the retail. Get the little, their, their little hangy tags off. Well, hangy tags, whatever. That one, the tags came off. But, uh, but I don't know. I like these because they are, like, they're, they're, like they're, they're, they're cheap. They're pretty durable. Like, a kid would have fun playing with these. So these are cool. Five bucks. That's not bad. Maybe they make neat stocking stuffers or even a made toy for, for other times. But I don't know. I'm, I'm a huge fan of toys that are cheap because I like when kids can play with toys. So but these are neat. They got a good G1 figures, a little bit of posability, not a ton, but who needs that? You know, and you can bang them around. Pretty cool, huh? I like them. So there you go. These ones I've only seen uh, around on uh, Halloween or Halloween, holiday season. It's like Christmas time. Because um, I think they sort of double as uh, double as ornaments, and they are. I've got the Optimus Prime and Hot Rod, or they're also like bag clips too. You know, you can clip them on your backpack or whatever. But uh, these are pretty cool that they're soft. So I mean, a kid could do that if they wanted to, like I just did. You know, I know it's fun to hit yourself in the head sometimes. Don't don't do that. Don't. I wish I I wish I didn't say that. But they're they're they kind of remind me of popples from back in the day. I don't, I, again, I'm dating myself, but uh, they, they just they pretty much open up and then fold into each other. So there's your there's your Optimus Prime. I think you can even I think you can even put the. So it's basically yeah, just like it just you know I'm gonna actually I'm gonna unbox these ones by taking the tag off. That means they're mine forever, and I, they're not mint, and I can't resell them. Oh, no, why would you do such a thing? Because that's, that's why I get stuff. I get stuff to keep it, much to my wife's chagrin. Is that a word that I'm using properly? I don't know. She's the English major, not me. So, anyway, but that's kind of cool. You can just kind of, I guess the tag, the bag clip can kind of stay out like that, so you can still clip it on, but then, like, that's its, you know, truck form, and let's, let's do hot rod now. These are actually the only ones I think that transformed that I'm going to do right now, but uh, that's okay. Yeah, it just kind of pulls out from itself and then just kind of folds back into itself. There, and... There you go. I mean, it's kind of a... You can tell it's supposed to be a car. So, I don't know, that's, that's kind of neat. I mean, they're, they're neat, they're soft, so they're a little safer. Like I said, that, 
easier to play. Obviously, I think you still want to keep them away from real little kids that might put stuff in their mouths because you know maybe the clips can come off or something. But uh, those are kind of neat. You ain't got to worry about them getting uh, broken. I think these were about three bucks each. I bought these at Target. I'm pretty sure, maybe. But uh, they were in the holiday section, so whether they're supposed to be there or not, I don't know. But I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. They, they, you get the you get the gist of it. I mean, obviously, it's not like highly detailed, but uh, kind of cool. I think. I think those are kind of fun. These last ones you can't get anymore because these were uh, McDonald's toys. And yes, I opened the bags out of them, but you got your get your Megatron and your uh, your Optimus Prime here. That's the only ones I got because it's the only ones I need. Actually, I don't need any of them because they're toys. I, I don't need toys, so this is a. Uh, these are cool because they actually are in um, like G1 G1 uh, style, whatever. This is apparently. I'll have to get another video of that, but uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Well, if it worked. Anyway. It's been sitting around, and I, I may have banged it around. But anyway, that's, that's kind of, it was a Transformers toy. And then let's see what Optimus Prime does. This would be cool if it worked a little bit better, but uh, it doesn't matter anymore because you can't even get it anyway, so... But I don't know. I, I I do like McDonald's toys. I think they kind of that they every once in a while they come up ones where they they they're doing real good, you know. Um, so this is uh looks like a G1 Optimus Prime with um. I guess he can st stab you. I guess that's cool. Not a lot of articulation other than his arm does that. Well, hold on. Does this do anything? You know, actually, sometimes we'll put the uh, yeah. Megatron just says you wind it and it walks. This, on the other hand, you. All right, do this. Okay, okay. Wait for it, wait for it. Okay. You can either... Or you can put it up and go, and then he slices you. I don't know, I don't, I, I guess make more sense if it was an ax, but I guess it's probably harder to get an ax to stick in his wrist like that, but uh, Okay, it's a neat feature, um, I guess, but uh, I don't know. Put my knife away because it's dangerous. But there you go. There's a couple different cheap options. Uh, obviously, these are McDonald's toys, so they're not really available anymore. I've been, you know, sitting on those for a while. These, like I said, I think these are on holiday times. But um, check these out. These are kind of cool. Like I said, they're about three bucks each. So that's kind of neat. I mean, I don't know. I think those are kind of fun. You could, you could make them ornaments too. I guess if you wanted to, or. Uh, or put them on your backpack or hang them out somewhere. Let's see if I can... I think they hang a little bit better. Or they're the, the clip's in a better position for hanging when they're in robot form. So, yeah, they go, they go together pretty easily. I mean, I'm kind of doing it while watching myself. So, you can hang that up. That'd be kind of a neat ornament. You can make that an ornament, right? Why not? Or whatever. And good old classic G1, uh, you know, thing. So, everything here was five bucks or less. So, um... I think that's pretty cool. You know what I think is pretty cool? Uh, social media. And if you want to follow more of me, there's me on the Twitter. That's at A underscore J underscore Roberts. That's AJ Roberts. That's me. And of course, you can catch me on the Instagram at the AJ Show TV. Be fair warned that uh, my Instagram has a lot of pictures of wieners on it. So people are sometimes not into that as much as others, just so you know. Um, other than that, uh, please click like and subscribe. Let me know your favorite uh, cheap toy uh, is. I don't know, maybe you got a cheap toy like, hey, this is cool, but it's cheap, and that's cool, I guess, or whatever. Let me know below uh, in the comments while you also, of course, uh, click like and subscribe and all that good stuff. But um, until next time, you can always check out other videos that pop up here. Don't forget to subscribe to my wiener dog that's in the, in the corner there. And uh, like I was saying, until next time, keep boxing it up.